Hey friends, um, we're here in Silkor Park. This is one of my favorite parts of Austin. You can see there the um, Austin skyline. Um, my roommate just told me that you can tell that a city is up and coming and it's in, um, productive and um, economically blissed if the, by the amount of um, cranes that you can see in the city and I, I probably count the day cranes in Austin so it's like it's a very relatively easy place to live check out my bike I just went into I, I just went in a six to seven mile uh, seven hour bike ride and I was just in Barton Springs so this is <clears throat> My second newsletter, as far as like crypto investing, a lot of people have been, been have been asking a lot of questions, and I just really want to address some of the questions regarding um, which platforms to use, which platforms are better, and what's happening with the market right now. So a lot of people, um, my two favorite platforms and the the ones that I invested in, the, the, my three favorite platforms are Robinhood um, Cash App and Coinbase and Cash App is basically a platform that is very 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 user friendly so you 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 really can just buy and sell in a very quick manner I think it's associated with Square and it's very fast, like you don't have to wait three days for the money to get sent to you. You don't have to wait three month, three days for the money to get um, into the trading account. It's just instantly done. However, they do charge some commissions and this is one of the main issues with, with the platform. That being said, it's like a very, very user-friendly platform and you can actually send money around and you can use it for several other ways. I'm relatively happy with it, just in case that I want to want to trade with a little bit of assets and just have them they're ready in order to just cash out as quickly as possible to use it for something else. I mean, I remember I made like this is just a, a personal anecdote. I made um, twice the amount of it that I invested, and all of a sudden I actually need a cash. And I looked at the at the uh, my Bitcoin account, and it had like twice the amount that I was I originally invested. And I cashed it out, and I all of a sudden I had like all this cash. So it's like really easy to use and very friendly. The second platform um, that I advise is called Robinhood, and this is basically an advanced trader account. It's actually very famous. It is um, it is. It was built by a guy from Romania. <laughs> Elon Musk called him um, Vlad the Stock Impaler. And I actually, this is probably one one of my, f I mean, I like Cash App just very quickly because it's just very easy to move cash around. But my one of my favorite trading platforms is, called, is, is actually Robinhood. And this is where I started trading some time ago and they have tons of information, um, tons of um, analyst reviews about the stocks that you're going to buy and, and the stocks that, you're gonna, that you want to sell. They have all the news about what's happening with that action or that asset. There's a couple of drawbacks um, for Robinhood, especially for cryptocurrency. The, one, the first drawback is that it only has like three coins. It has like... Bitcoin, Ethereum, Lithicoin, and Dogcoin, and that's like not a lot of coins. The second, the, se the second problem that it has is that it, it, you, in order to move funds around from one place to another, like say you move, you want to like cash out, it takes like three or four or five days, and sometimes. It's a long time and you just really want the cash and it just takes a long time. And then when you deposit funds, it takes like also like t three to four days. The other problem that it has is like this has happened a couple times. 
it's all of a sudden my account got restricted so I couldn't do anything I couldn't move anything this was during the game stop scandal so maybe they were just too um, worried about what was happening and didn't have any staff members to deal with my issue and I'm obviously not a, a billionaire so I didn't have all this money and I was like not a priority for them and they really didn't help me when I needed it um, that being said it's actually a very in, in, in many in many terms it's a very nice platform to use especially if you want to invest in regular stock like Facebook Apple etc and if you want like some of the main cryptocurrencies the other platform that I advise people to use is called Coinbase and this platform is actually for more ta more advanced type traders because it every time that you move money around you get charged all these commissions and you lose quite a lot of money that being said it has a lot of information about each coin and has all the white papers that are very useful to have it has um, the information about the market if it's a positive market a negative market I'm actually always looking into this this platform and it actually has quite a lot of coins there are other three platforms that are used a lot one of them is Bitso um, Binance has a lot of really good reviews and um, crypto.com I, uh, I actually don't have um, I have some experience with, with them but I don't have as much experience a lot of people have asked me what is happening with the crypto market right now there's two or three issues I mean the first thing is it could be just some of the reason some of some 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 of the some of the um, bearish markets is always a correction on the market so Bitcoin and a lot of those coins like usually go down um, but it's more than that um, there was a major scandal in China with Bitcoin with um, cryptocurrency mining and also the Securities Exchange Commission just imposed quite a lot of regulation on a lot of the coins so that this means that the coins just have to start dealing with compliance issues and hire a lot of lawyers to make sure that they're following protocol and this may, just makes the coins a lot less likely to rise because they in, instead of just investing in making the coin user friendly and investable, they just have to use they have to invest in dealing with governments. Um, the other issue that's happening is that one of the coins just got sued. This is specifically Dog Coin. Dog Coin just got a major lawsuit by the Securities Exchange Commission. So this also. Um, um, creates less leg legitimacy for the coins. Anyway, I hope all is all of this is useful. Please ask me if you have any more questions.